One bite from this tick and poof, you're vegetarian. How is this possible? I'm gonna tell you. Hi guys, welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm Rebecca Felgate and I am covering for Charlotte. Charlotte's not here because she sounds a lot like me, but worse if you can believe it. Why is this? Because we were having so much fun at VidCon that we actually lost our voices. And maybe our sanity, but hey, it was worth it. So, meet the Lone Star. This is the name of an evil tick that wants to gorge on your blood for several days. The Lone Star gets its name from the white dot on its back and this little baddie lives in the southeastern United States. That being said, it has also been found as far north as Long Island. Aside from sucking on your blood, one bite from this tick can give you a vicious meat allergy. Initially, the victim will suffer from a bout of vomiting and diarrhea. Some people may even feel a shortness of breath and pass out. Most people will suffer from insatiable itching. For steak lovers though, this is the least of their concerns. The Lone Star infects a person with an immune system hacking saliva that stops a person being able to deal with a certain carbohydrate that's found in red meat. So basically, say goodbye to bacon. What happens is that the body is tricked into thinking that meat is a deadly poison and reacts accordingly. So basically, out both ends. Gross. Theoretically, those dealing with the infection could still eat less fatty meats like seafood and chicken, but where's the fun in that if you can't have a good sausage? Also, the irony of this tick sharing a name with the Lone Star State of Texas is not lost on me. In Texas, they absolutely love a good barbecue. All of those bitten by this tick will only be able to enjoy veggie burgers and tofu this 4th of July. I'm actually thinking about it and I feel like I could use this tick in my life. I'm trying to give up meat, but I definitely have haven't forgotten how delicious steak is. Mmm, juicy, juicy steak. Also, breakfast bacon. Bacon's really hard, I smell it and I'm like, oh. I do think though, after being bitten by this tick and a severe bout of vomiting, I'd probably learn to hate me. So guys, unless you want to swap bacon for Brussels sprouts or steak for spinach, stay away from the Lone Star tick. So guys, that's all I have for you on this story. What do you think to the Lone Star? How would you feel giving up meat? Let me know in the comments section down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate, trying to live another day with my sore sore voice. Give me a thumbs up, share this video, and I will see you guys in another informed video coming at you very soon. Bye.